as an undergraduate, I, I remember fir first reading a poem by Mark Doty, and he had just published, at that point, I think one or, or two books, or his second book had just come out. And, uh, and I was home in Wisconsin, on my parents' farm. Um, and I remember being in uh, my bedroom, and I was uh, reading this book of, of, of Doty's, and, um, and looking at the biographical note, and reading that he lived in Provincetown, and I had no idea where that was. Um, I looked it up in a map, and I saw it was at the end, absolute end of the, of the of the coast, the end of the Cape. I saw it was a town about the same size as the town that I was in. And, um, and I wrote him a letter. And I, I, it just said, Mr. Mark Doty, Provincetown, Massachusetts. <laughs> and, I, you know, and I mailed it to him. It's like sending a letter to Santa or something. You know, and I mailed it and, um, and, and kind of forgot about it. And you know, I think I was 19, maybe, maybe 20. Um, still really trying to figure things out about, about what, what I would do and what I could become. And a, a couple weeks went by and this big padded envelope came in the mail. And, uh, and, it, was, and it was a letter from, from Mark and he had sent copies of his two books and he had signed them to me and he wrote me this very nice letter. And it, it felt as though it had arrived from, you know, a, a, another planet or something. And it, it felt like a, a kind of, um, initiation, you know, and, and in the letter I remember he's, he's talked about the, the inherent isolation of writing poems, that it is something that we do uh, uh, kind of secreted away from other people, but it's a gesture that you're making um, toward the unknowable and toward other people hoping that, they, that there can be some kind of reciprocation. And he said that that's what this letter was. Um, and, and Kind of from that moment, there was sort of no, no turning back. That that exchange, that kind of personal, intimate exchange, um, to me is really what what writing poems is all about. Writing poems is about setting limitations for yourself. You have to figure out what it is you're not going to do, and those limitations create a kind of fretwork within which you can animate the poem. You know, there, there needs to be an, enough that is restricting it and holding it back. Um, and uh, so, so that you have the permission for something wild to take place in there. You know, the sonnet is the perfect example. It's the golden cage. Um, but it has to cage something fairly, fairly wild, something that needs caging.